Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't, man. Jay Chiruga back with some more pushing the piece on the positive end, though. Um, hopefully that fight with him and Rico Reckless still happen. But for now, uh, right here on your screen is him paying uh, respect to all the fallen 600 members. Um, you see a lot of his guys. You actually see a people from O Block. He said T Roy. He said D Thang, Stello, just everybody you see that you can imagine for being his ops at one point in time was mentioned on his story as just paying respect as another. Um, way of him pushing peace and it's gonna go unnoticed by a lot of people who don't care because just remember how duck dropped that tribute to all the fallen um legends of chicago no matter if they was up or not nobody wanted to hear it people tried to make it seem like he was just copping out he didn't want no beef well actuality man motherfuckers just get tired of beefing like when you in your 30s because i'm finna be 29 this year duck a year or two older than me so when he made that song he was just tired of this shit you know what i mean ruga was never the type of person who wanted to just sit back and just diss everybody for clout. He was never really on that type of timing. So I honestly believe the fact that he said RIP them people, they're not going to look at it as an effort as him pushing peace. They're like, oh, well, he was never really beefing with anybody in the first place instead of really looking at the people around him, like Dooski, his brother Brian, some of his best friends that lost their life to this shit. And those are the ones he's honoring by pretty much saying, let me step back from this beef and move on on a positive note. Now... Juice the Savage, man. Juice the Savage went viral not too long ago. Him and Gino Marley. Well, he helped Gino Marley go viral in a negative way by saying Gino Marley and I think uh, DJ DJ Ken snitched on him. For a fact, he was talking about Gino Marley when the, him and D-Rose and uh, Juice the Savage all caught a case. Um, I guess towards the end, he said people had to take a stand. It's on Truth Teller um, YouTube channel. Y'all go watch the video when him and Republican from Front Street was saying how... Um, for now, Juice the Savage is uh, exonerated because they tried to accuse him of being a snitch. They said Juice the Savage was a snitch. And what if what it sounds like from what I heard and that, that lie between Republican and Juice the Savage, he don't even like Juice don't even really fuck with them no more because how he felt he was uh, his image was tarn uh, was tarnished by those snitch allegations. And so they and during that same live, they flipped the script on Gino Marley saying that his lawyer told him that Gino Marley snitched. But then if you go back and look at that pa that picture I just uploaded in the beginning of this story, not the whole video. Juice apologized to Gino Marley saying he was wrong. He was a shorty. It was his first case. He didn't really know how to read paperwork. But he got off the phone with D-Rose and D-Rose cleared the air that uh, Gino Marley didn't snitch. Now, do you see why I really don't even like doing those videos? Because honestly, a few people have brought other rappers to me like, oh, he's a snitch. He's a snitch. I'm, who am I to say that person's a snitch when they done probably did more in life than I probably have done? Not to say I ain't done shit, you know, good or bad. We're talking about taking trips, spinning bags. We're not talking about killing people y'all so i don't want to be the person who tried to shit on somebody who actually got something going for themselves and this is why because you see somebody who they ain't do their proper research damn they ruined gino marley image he had to get on truth teller to to clear up the rumors just for you to turn around and apologize that's fucked up man and that's another reason why i want to get out of blogging not just because so many people blogging and it's watered down it's just because it's it's a messy thing i'm gonna drop my first episode of shot tunes this week a cartoon i've been working on y'all support that just like y'all support the messiness but on a serious note I'm glad Gino and Marley's name got clear Because I was honestly looking at that shit kind of funny I've been doing my research as much as I could And nobody, even the people who sent me paperwork Couldn't find none on Gino and Marley So from the get-go, that shit was false Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think below I'm gone